Boardwalk Empire is back. Lawless was a huge hit, and Moonshiners is now a must-watch show on Discovery TV. There's big business and bootleg booze again. Bootleg Here to tell booze. us why Moonshine is having its moment is Master Blender from the Kings County Distillery, Nicole Austin. Thank you for joining Nicole. us. Thank you for having me. Okay, so Nicole, why is Moonshine so big? I think people are interested in the history of it. You know, you've had Boardwalk Empire, you've had Moonshiners. Mm -hmm. People want to know what it is. They want to try something new that they haven't had before. What is Moonshine exactly? Yeah. I, it's nothing. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> well, I know that's not, the, that's not the answer you want. It's not a thing. Moonshine, it could be anything. Okay. So historically, it's been a lot of different things. Um, it's been whiskey that people didn't pay taxes on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where the word came from was people, when they created an excise tax, and people didn't want to pay it, so people were distilling illegally. But it wasn't anything different than the whiskey that they had been distilling legally. They just okay. didn't pay their taxes. Oh. All right. So that's what we're making. So a moonshine in a more historic sense. You know, the modern words have become like sugar shine. You know, I make apple pie moonshine, banana moonshine, any of those things. Mm -hmm. Sugar shine. Sugar shine. Sugar, sugar shine. shine. Sugar All right. Shine. So, but your background is in chemical engineering. Yep. How did you get in the moonshine Walter White. business? Walter White. Female <laughs> Walter know. White right here. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly more legit than that. Um, I, I love whiskey. Mm -hmm. I love whiskey, and mm -hmm. you know, that type of girl. <laughs> love it. <laughs> and they, I wasn't invited to make it in Kentucky, so you know, mm -hmm. I have to make it here. All okay. right. <laughs> so, so tell us about. Um, is it really legal or even safe to make whiskey or any kind of alcoholic it beverage is legal. on your own? Um, we have but a it permit. Was illegal, right? We you can't do it without a permit. Okay. So okay. you have to. Right. We applied for permission from the federal government. Okay. So the TTB says that I can do this. So what's that application like? Long, just, lengthy, okay. <laughs> lengthy <laughs> process. It's like uh, like applying for a liquor license for a bar. It takes almost, at least a year um, to go through the whole process. But so now we're doing it above board, um, and certainly I never ever did it before that. Now. This <laughs> Yeah, right. Now, Moon, Moonshine has you. a Moonshine does have a reputation though for being higher in the percentages of alcohol than like regular drinks. Yeah, right? so I brought two things. Mm -hmm. um, so Gary, one of them are you, for are you ready to taste? So this moonshine, this is our uh, normal moonshine. So I have a little of the normal try. Yeah. Okay. So this is not a super high proof. This is 80 proofs, 40% alcohol. It's okay. pretty it's pretty so average. it's like some some kinds of rum Wait, or vodka. Wait, you said yes. what? It's what? 80. It's 80 proof. 80 proof. 80 proof? 80 proof. Mm -hmm. And you call that the normal? Yeah, it's a yeah, distilled spirit proof. Normal. That's what, you know, if you order a shot of whiskey in a bar, mm -hmm. that's probably what it is. Uh, yeah, it's Gary, not going to help you. That not course. me, pal. I'm driving. Nope. <laughs> there. Just love it. Okay. You ready? <laughs> Before you turn it you can do it. I will if you will. Okay. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Need ice cube? <laughs> <laughs> she can fly now. <laughs> Drink a lot of whiskey. <laughs> can you speak? Can you speak? So. Uh, oh. <laughs> so maybe you're not quite ready okay. for the 70% alcohol no, 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 version no, no, that no. I also brought. <laughs> cool off, cool off, honey. It's okay. You think you can take it? Can I take what? The 70% alcohol. Oh yeah, version. sure, right. sure. Well, we can pour you a little no bit problem. of this as well. Then. I was so, born in I was born in the land of 151. So this hit, is the moonshine that comes straight off of the still. <laughs> oh, so, straight off right, the still. Right when we're done distilling, okay. this is what it tastes like. All right. Like. Wait, what day we're, is it? We're being. <laughs> <laughs> Girl. Woo. All right. I get why that was illegal wow. for a while. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not bad. Not nice, bad right? at all. Right? There's a lot no. of you know we we pay attention to our ingredients. <sighs> Corn. Just give me a match. <laughs> Well, do you think you wipe for a little cocktail? How do you make moonshine? <laughs> that's all. That's, that's all, what you want to know? All, that's all I want to know. Because you're here at home? That's it, well, now, <laughs> you got a sister hook. I mean, this is better than crack. <laughs> In my opinion, I, I think it is. According to Lamar Odom, I, I don't wouldn't know. About know that. But, <laughs> yes, tell me. Well, so we start with grain. Okay. So that's mm -hmm. what's going on over so here, that's and that's why I brought this. All right. Mm -hmm. So okay. this is corn. Okay. And that's barley that you have corn in Corn and barley. Okay. So. We start with those, okay, mm -hmm. and make a mash, make beer basically with them. How and then do you do that though? What do you, you just mix it together? Hot water, mix it together with hot water, make grits basically. Like you make it with hot water. Grits, mm -hmm. okay. And so it's like you're making grits. Okay, and got then that. 
um, add yeast. Okay. And the yeast eat the sugars that were in the grains. They make alcohol for us. And then, so it's basically beer at that point. And then we distill it twice. Distill so, it twice. Mm -hmm. And it ferments for about, about how four long? days. Four about days. About four days. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. And then, and then we do the distillation. And that's the part where the flavor comes in. So we try and be very careful about that. So what kind of uh, moonshine does mm -hmm. your distillery make? We make an unaged corn whiskey. So that's the kind of moonshine that we make. So mm -hmm. it's not just going and buying Domino sugar or something, and, and, which people mm -hmm. do now. Mm -hmm. uh, so we start with grain and bring it all the way to glass. Oh, so it, this is a burgeoning market, obviously. So it is. where where is moonshine whiskey in the mar in the American marketplace? Would you say? I think a lot of it is in urban areas. You know, people are young and they want something new. They want something fresh. They want to, you know, something different. So people are getting interested in it. They want something kind of raw. You know, it's a raw spirit. Mm -hmm. So I think that's where it's really kind of. And it's off. become the hipster drink. Remember when Pabst beer was huge in <laughs> Williamsburg, and that was the hipster beer. Moonshine <clears throat> has become very hipster friendly. Why? Hey is now. That? <laughs> hey now. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, you, you are a hipster. I mean, why are the girls? Man. Lena Dunham but, but love you, you. And you don't want. Why? Why? I guess I'm standing here in a plaid shirt making are, moonshine in Brooklyn, so I can't really you're claim, claim that, I'm that I'm not a hipster. Mm -hmm. But I, you know, I like it because it's something different. It's something fresh, and it's for me this moonshine. It's all about you know New York. We buy New York State grain. We make it in Brooklyn. We were the first distillery in Brooklyn since Prohibition. We're really proud of that. So okay, so while we uh, figure out where it's purchased and how we can get some more of that, let's mm -hmm. bring Roy and Janae back so they can try some of this yeah. moonshine oh, because I cannot handle this by myself. <laughs> At all. Mm -hmm. Oh, we gotta, we gotta Sign pour. Me up. Sign me up. Sign up. Well, what is in here? So we, I brought, I made a little cocktails with it. Oh, not, I'll not have everyone that. necessarily wants to drink straight whiskey. Okay. So and that's why we have some ice here. So oh. I can yeah. pour, you can pour mm -hmm. on some ice. Okay. All right. Pour so some. the pink one has grapefruit. Do you want to try that? Sure. Janae, you have the pink one. Oh yeah. Yeah. Give yeah. the manly looking oh. one to yeah. Roy over so there. Yeah. That one. That one. Like go ahead. What's in that, Roy? So that's a little lemonade and a little iced tea. Ready? With the moonshine. There we go. One, two, <laughs> three. <Cheers. laughs> Ooh, this is good. What do you think? This is great. Oh yeah, my gosh, what do you think? Does this, like 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 this mean I'm not a, like that I'm a drunk because I didn't double over? No, 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 no. no. Okay. no. <laughs> Can I take some home? Do you have more? No, no. Hey, 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 that shameless plug. <laughs> Cheers. Ooh, Cheers, guys. I have okay, nothing left. so where can we where purchase can we? your fabulous moonshine? We don't so, have to go to a speakeasy underground no, to place we have in Brooklyn. No, a ton no, of okay. liquor stores. If you're in Manhattan, you can buy us at Astor Wines, Park oh, yeah, Avenue Liquors. Exactly where that yeah, is. they all mm. have us. Um, and if you're in Brooklyn, you know our big bar accounts are Norman's Kill and Char Four. They have us, and almost every neighborhood has at least one liquor store. So Very you cool. should be able to find it. Nice, Nicole thank Austin. So thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Wait, you're not drinking. Take it to the head, girl. Yeah. 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 As yeah. Rihanna said, pour it up, pour oh, it up. Yeah. <laughs> she had to turn Cheers. over and bend down. And <laughs> You're watching Arise Entertainment 360.